Welcome back to the Bikisa Freeway, third round of the Extreme Festival and second round for the Car Care Clinic Triple One Sports and Saloons. After a great outing at SWAT Corps Raceway, the Bikisa Freeway is now going to be lit up by over 30 cars who have come out here to do battle. A couple of guys looking to just change the favor and flavor of their first round action because a couple of guys got caught out with those very tricky conditions on St. Paddy's Day. It's absolutely ideal conditions here today at the Bikisa Freeway. Voto Ruiz will be at the front end. Keep an eye on him as he tries to change his season around. He didn't have a good outing. And Mal Spur is definitely going to be looking to improve on her outing here at the Bikisa Freeway. As you can see, rolling start as always for Triple One Sports and Saloons. And as they come out of the final turn, look out for Besaid Note on the front to try and make a gap right from the word go. We go on board here with Paul Simon. He's the first man to come and join us out of one of the other categories this season. And this will be his first outing in Triple One Sports and Saloons at the Bikisa Freeway. As they come down under breaking, the little Bucky sneaking on the inside and the rest of the field sorting things out. The Porsches are in the house, led out by the looks of things by Harvey Warbanger. Mark, Harvey, and oh, look at how hard it is to get through there though. Not an easy day in the saddle here for everybody. Look at the front end though. Voter Rus has got ahead of a safe note and George Besaid note has been caught out big time. As they come down towards the boot section, there's going to be a couple of things chopping and changing in the background. Keep an eye out on Giles Darrock as well. The GRD Motorsport uh, Golf looking to come through the field rapidly. He's already moving up into sixth place. Yeah, it looks like it's a Golf versus uh, the Polos. We've got some Honda Ballard Civics thrown in there and the Porsches, like you said, are starting to come now through the field. It really is about uh, nutrition now through this race. You've got to keep your nose clean and it's all about that race craft and the tactics in the final stage of this race because with so many cars out on track and they're so evenly matched, that's the beauty about this class. You've got to line up those opportunities. This is one of the perfect places to line it up now. Get the drive. Ooh, suffering a little bit there is Philip Mayer. Not quite sure what's happening. Maybe just missed the gear. And uh, down the back straight, you don't want to be doing that. Uh, in the Porsche here, pushing hard as they go into Uncini 1 and 2. Closing in on that Subaru. That Subaru works in Presa has got a real good turn of pace. But a little bit of work still to be done there for Fana Faifa in that Subaru to get it up to pace with these two. And look at the change around here for Voter Ruiz. The Strata drilling Golf GTI 7 beating out George Besaid note by a long margin. Simon for third place, dives through. Oh, that is a massive move there. And you can see just how difficult it's going to be for Verity and Jubert, one of the fastest racing moms in this country there in the Honda, trying to fend off the attack coming from Simon in that Golf Caddy. I think next time out, we need to get one of our cameramen in the back of that bucky. That'll be some nice shooting. Oh, change up in the lead, though. Looks like Poseidon note a brilliant move there. A little bit of worry there for Voter Ruiz. Got a little bit wide, and George did not need a second invitation, and he has taken the lead now. So Voter Ruiz looks like he's just trying to get these wits about him again and mount an attack. Rainer van Heerden in the mid-pack there, having a fantastic day in the saddle. Much better than what we saw from him at SWAT Corps. Louis Skoltz also looking for a once again to try and take Class C honors here, but he's got all over him. Donnie Dacel and Mark Ellis as they're trying to look to take that Class C honor away from him. It's such a great little mix-up of cars here as well. Look at this. This is an X touring car fighting with an ex-production car and right on their tail a golf Volkswagen caddy. The Bucky, there we go. But <laughs> Voter Ruiz has now closed down that gap. Obviously made a mistake going into the hip and right hander that allowed George Presenno through. But since then he's closed about that half a second that he had. Does look like he's got a little bit extra pace. Will he make it counter? Or is he gonna sit there to the final stage of the race? Or is he gonna try and get the drive now onto the back straight out of the Inchinis and uh, use that slipstream into the fastest part of the track? On board yeah, once again with the Bucky man. He comes filtering down there. Looks in a comfortable third place at the moment but behind him there's a massive battle going on in class B, C and X. You know, watching all those monitors, watching all the uh, screens in front of him to make sure that he's not getting out of shape. He's keeping it all together. This is a really good job he's done on this Bucky. It really is becoming a contender. But up front, look at that, a change up. About to say Voter Ruiz diving on the inside through the fastest part of the circuit, and he takes the lead. What a way to go there. George Besaid note opened up the door. You don't want to do that with Voter on your tail. He's going to make you pay, and he has done. He comes out of Hillcorp, going into the final turn now with the lead ahead of Besaid note, and he's going to try and hang on to it to the flag. Voter Ruiz has got the perfect perfect setup in that car. All the downforce needed to make that move. It's a very brave move into the fastest part of the track as they come out there. And oh, looks like a couple of Porsche drivers are getting a little bit uh, too close for comfort there. Franco Di Matteo having to take avoiding action coming into the final turn there. Now, oh, the Porsche drivers are going at it. Philip Mayer looks like Mark Ellis as well getting it out of shape into the final turn. And Mark Harvey as well being tagged there by his good friend Philip. So uh, the two of them ending up on the sideline. Let's have a look at it. This is Philip Mayer's point of view as they go in. He just turns oh. in. Harvey's in his way. Tags the back of Harvey. Eee. Gets tagged again. Ends up in the kitty litter. Hopefully he can get going again. Mark Harvey will not be happy about that. But fortunately, the, both of those cars got back on track. Safety car situation because of that unfortunate incident down into the final turn. Di Matteo stricken on the sideline now. He won't be happy about that. He was going so well in that Deltec Ford Laser. 
Green flag again, and in the change up there, there was a change in the lead. And looks like Vote is going to just uh, resume the position back out front again ahead of the side note. Yeah, it looks like Paul there in third place. He's the biggest loser there because he had a comfortable third place. And then has closed up now into the final lap. So it's a one lap sprint race here for these drivers. Can the Bucky Man hold off the massive charge he's got behind him from Funnevolt, Derek and Daisel? Front end is exactly where Voter needs to be. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a side note. Turn. Can you lock it up into turn two there? Absolutely black lines. That car is not turning. The front end of the car is battling, and I think the side note might not be able to keep and get to the front end if Voter Ruiz's car is handling as well as it is right now. Nathan's Motorsport have done a great job on that one, but the Accolade car behind is certainly taking a bit of strain, and I think Paul Simon realizes that. He's going to try and close down. It's Pierre Fonda Vault and, of course, Giles Derrick fighting for the final part of top five. But what an end to this race. After the chaos with the Porsches, it's brought everybody back into the mix. Oh, this is it, a one-lap sprint race. This is exactly what we want to see. Look at that battle for fourth, down to about sixth or seventh place. But out front, Votarus, that was rally-style stuff there from Ruiz and Bezadenot out front. Four-wheeled steering into the right-hand hairpin there. But they've got it all together. Bezadenot, unfortunately, not able to mount a challenge on this one-lap sprint. You could see he knew that he had to try and disrupt Votarus on this one lap to try and have any chance of winning this race. But Votar, with all that experience, held it all together, and he will come to take the line and the ticket flag. Yeah, a great run here from Votarus to win out the cock clinic triple one sports and saloons cars he also wins class a ahead of george beside note who come through for second place overall paul simon is going to take the class b's and third place overall and it's giles derrick will take class x ahead of donnie dacel who will win out class c there's confirmation of the top eight and we're going to catch up with the strata drilling man voter russ yeah it was a it was a wonderful day today it was my first double for the day and obviously first overall the second race was interesting with an interesting dice with George and luckily the safety car bunched up the field so I'm sure the guys enjoyed the last two laps as a very short sprint race.